bullshit! Go! Go! Recently, Marvel put out this cool little show called Moon Knight, and it just ended today, this morning, at 3 a.m. The Moon Knight finale dropped this morning, and this is my first reaction and my first thoughts right after finishing it. I'm sorry if I sound a little unprofessional. I am extremely tired because it's very early in the morning. I'm sleepy. Spoiler alert to anybody who hasn't seen the finale. If you haven't seen this episode, I don't know why you clicked on this video. Get the hell out of here. In this episode, Harrow frees Ahmed and commits mass genocide. I was honestly surprised at the amount of people they seem to kill extremely quickly. It's kind of unsettling. They don't even, they, they don't show anything, but they do show all the little purple souls flying away. He had all of his little disciples just judge a bunch of people real quick. And then everybody was bad, just faints and dies. Harrow has this weird Thanos mentality where he thinks he's the hero. Everything he's doing is okay because his overall goal outweighs his decisions. And that's bullshit. He's like, I kill a bunch of people, yeah, but they were gonna be bad. So you gotta understand who's gonna kill them because they have the potential to be assholes. Mark abandons heaven to go save Steven, and he tells him how much he loves him because he's a little sweetheart. And they have a heart to heart, and then Steven comes back to life and they get resurrected. I really like the dynamic that Steven and Mark have after they get resurrected. They kind of just tag in and out when either one of them has to say something. In this episode, we see more of Mark and Steven working as a team instead of working against each other. Usually, Steven didn't trust Mark and led them to not really working together because they were just trying to keep the other from being in control. Now that Mark has opened up to Steve and the presence of both characters is kind of balanced in this episode, it was really cool to see Mark and Steven fighting side by side and kicking ass together. I didn't think about that, like, ever. Like, the alters switching in and out mid-fight to do, like, combo moves. Like, that was really cool and interesting. Now, I was somebody who thought the theories about this show being all in Mark's head because he was mentally ill was stupid. Not because of the evidence not being there, but like, I thought it was clear that the, that was the whole point. It was to bait you into thinking that because I was like, oh, well, this is the MCU. They're not going to do that. They're trying to set this character up for future installments. They're not going to make it just this crazy person, right? And then the episode ended in the fucking mental hospital. And it threw me for, I was like, wait, wait, what the fuck? Like, wait a second, like, this was actually fake? Like, it actually, they, they got me. I was like, oh, they fucking, they spooked me. Like, this, this actually might be all fucking fake. They actually got me to believe it. But then, um, with the post credit scene, they revealed Jake Lockley. And I was like, oh snap, okay. So is it all real or is it fake? I, I actually genuinely don't know. I was about to like, like, I'm not joking. I was writing in the script while I was gonna shit all over the fact that this show was totally in the MCU and that he was an actual character and like he wasn't just in a manifestation of a mentally ill person. But like that actually maybe is the case. That's how they end the show. And I think that's kind of cool. You don't know. I have heard that Oscar Isaac said this was a one and done thing. I don't know if he'd be coming back for any sequel installments. He did amazing with this show. His performance was great for all the characters he played. I really did enjoy this show. Moon Knight was a pleasant surprise. I didn't think it was going to be... I didn't expect it to be bad by any means. I just didn't know anything about the character before this show. It was really entertaining and I liked it a lot. This episode was a pretty good finale and I think it left off at a spot where if they don't want to continue Moon Knight in the MCU, they don't have to. Like it left off on a spot in the show where they can just leave it where it's at and they don't have to go anywhere with it. So if that's what they decided to do, then that's fine. But also season two of Moon Knight would be very awesome. And I would have really, really enjoyed that as I know many people would. So Moon Knight gets a big thumbs up from me.